What's up guys, Shea Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today we're taking a look at the Streamline Starter Pack. Let's get to it. Before we get to the video, please click that like button if you're enjoying the content. If you find yourself coming back often, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell. It really helps me out, and I try to post videos at least once a week. As always, thank you all for the support. So I've been sitting on the MVP starter packs for a while now. I got the two R2 packs. I have the MVP starter pack, the Axiom starter pack, and a Streamline starter pack, obviously. And my game plan was to you know do some you know nine hole challenges with them. I've actually been challenged by uh, some locals who throw other brands to throw their brand starter pack versus me. Uh, but I just, you know, I was sick for a while, and then my schedules got tied up, and they've been sitting on my rack for so long, I finally said, hey, I'm going to do one of these challenges finally. So did a random number generator, came, you know, picked the streamline pack, and the game plan was to go to Sedgley on a Saturday, play some tags, and then um, after the round, I would play 9 or 18 holes, depending on how I was feeling. And, you know, plan went into effect. I, I played, I tried to play the round, and unfortunately, one, the, it was gorgeous out, so the park was packed, and, you know, Sedgley is really packed just by how the course is designed. And then also, there's a disc in this pack that's very hard to use at Sedgley, which is you can pretty much throw putters and mids off every tee. Uh, so the driver was a bit tricky, and you'll see why. Uh, so I threw the round, but I, just, I found myself like forcing shots, not really like giving a good example of how these discs can be used. So uh, I decided to scrap that video, unfortunately, and uh, just decided it would be better just to go to my field uh, with my starter pack and throw them out and talk about the discs and you know, their utility. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to that. guys so my streamlined starter pack for the putter 160 gram pilot for the mid-range we got a 176 gram runway neutron or cosmic neutron and then we got looks like a 172 gram plasma trace so pretty overstable for a starter pack I mean, let's see how these guys fly we'll start off with the uh let's with the putter and starting with the hyzer Pilot is just a great stable putter, so you know, give it some angle, pretty much holds it, fights into the wind nicely, has some good glide, you carry some good distance on a hyzer. Hang it flat, this thing glides nicely. I get over on a little bit, and I think that crosswind probably helped it pan, but still, you know, it's, it's what the pilot's known for, just being glidey. And even at 168, it really just, you know, handles that torque well. I put this one up a little bit higher, give it some time to float, see it fight back there at the end. Anheuser's, I did have to be touchy with it though, because you see here, it just kind of digs down in the ground with the roller. So don't give it too much angle. You know, come in with a little softer like this, and you'll get some great panning shots. And being a good stable putter, it can actually handle forehand torque pretty well. Just give it that good wrist snap and, you know, make sure it has enough spin, and it'll carry a respectable distance. So the Pilot is a great pick for a starter pack. Uh, good putter selection from MVP. Even at 168 gram, I was very surprised with how much stability this disc had. Um, that one, you know, panning shot uh, when I threw it flat, I really think that was a bit wind, uh, wind assisted. The wind just kind of helped ride it to the right. Uh, when I was throwing it sedgley, I was very impressed by how, you know, just straight it flew. A little bit of fade at the end. So, uh, you know, even at the lighter weight, uh, it's still a great flying disc. Good glide, so you get good distance, you know, without much effort. Uh, Really, you know, I like giving newbies a neutral putter over a flippy one just because I feel like a flippy putter reinforces bad habits. This is going to get them throwing, you know, more with better form faster. So it's usually my go-to. And this pilot's definitely going to be in my stack. I have a, uh, I always carry an extra putter in my bag for when I see somebody throwing with a lid or, you know, they're out with a group of friends and the friends only gave them a driver to throw. Uh, so I usually will walk up and offer them a putter just because I know they'll do better off with it. So this is definitely going to be going to a newbie in the future. Uh, so yeah, great pick uh, with the pilot for the starter pack. Now on to the mid range. So being an overstable mid range, when you throw the runway on hyzer, it's just going to hold that angle for you and find the ground pretty quickly. So it's really good for distance control. Throwing on backhand here, I put a real good move on that shot, and you'll see it, it doesn't want to stay flat. It wants to get the hyzer, find the ground. This throw, I put it a little higher up in the air, take a little bit off it. You see, it does have some good lateral movement potential, you know, getting from right to left for you so you can turn some corners with the runway. Anheuser's are a lot of fun. I, you know, put a lot of angle on that, give it a good hit. 
and get a big flexing shot out of that. This hand has to take a little angle off it, but still put a good move on it, and I get a really nice tight S shot, which, you know, is really good for the woods. And finally, for forehand, you know, the runaways are reliable. Uh, that overstability, that torque resistance really helps you forgive a bad release, and, you know, it's great for forehand. Right, where I was in total agreement for the pilot being in the starter pack, this one shook me a bit. I have no idea why the runway would be in a starter pack for newbies. I think this disc is going to frustrate the heck out of them. It's just so overstable. It's not going to get the glide they need. The pilot's going to go further. So, um, you know, it was, it, was a, it was a very questionable pick for me. I do know the runway was the only mid offered by Streamline at the time. So I think MVP wanted to get the Streamline starter pack out just to be at a more competitive price point compared to other companies. But I feel like this was a frustrate the heck out of newbies. Uh, I know we do have the Echo now that is more of a Buzz S disc, a neutral mid range. So I hope that will take over the slot uh, for now uh, in the uh, starter pack. The only case I could see this kind of really being a good pick for a newbie is if a, a, a seasoned disc offer is taking somebody out for the first time and they know that newbie, you know, has a baseball background or a tennis background and they're going to be throwing a lot of forehands, in which case, you know, other starter packs like, you know, your DX Shark uh, or your Truth uh, that you'll see in some of the other brands' starter packs uh, are not going to fly as well for people throwing forehand. Uh, the runway is going to be a little more forgiving, a little more torque, uh, you know, it's going to have that torque resistance, uh, forgive that wobble a bit. So I think, you know, in that rare case where, you know, you're taking a, a person out with that background, uh, that's going to lead them to forehand probably very easily. Then I can see the runway being a pick. Uh, so that move I could see, but again, I'm hoping the echo takes over the mid range slot in the streamline starter pack in the future. Uh, now with that onto the driver. I did have some bad memories of the Plasma Trace when it was the circuit disc. Uh, this one felt pretty good. Starting off on Heiser. Uh, got a little bit of flip out of it for a little extra carry, but still reliable. You know, Heiser fade. We're going to flat shots here. Get a nice little tight turn out of it. Probably helped by the wind a little bit. Uh, but still a pretty good distance for, you know, a lot of bang for the buck. And Heisers were a lot of fun, but it was a bit touchy. I had a few throwers with it. But you see here, I don't, I don't give it too much angle, and I get a great little flex shot out of it. And for forehand, it felt really clean. I have a friend who I know throws uh, a lot of traces for his forehand shots. I can see why. Just really reliable, really comfortable. And as you probably guessed, this is the disc that, you know, kind of nullified the uh, Sedgley round for me. You don't really need an 11-speed at Sedgley. I could pretty, pretty much, you know, throw every tee shot with the runway or the pilot. So I felt bad. I was, bare, I was really trying to force the trace into shots, and it just wasn't going well. So that's why I scrapped the round. But MVP, why is there an 11-speed in a starter pack? This one, you know, I, I was really struggling to understand. The, uh, you know, the runway, okay, it was the only mid-range at the time. Now we have a new, uh, new mid-range offered by Streamline. That could probably take over. I hope it does. Why the trace? I would never give a newbie an 11 speed. I taught myself out at 11 speeds. I've been playing for 10 years plus. So, uh, you know, a bit of a questionable pick, especially when the drift exists. The drift is a better leopard. Come at me, Anova fans. Uh, it's just, you know, really comfortable, great hand feel. That is a disc I would give to a newbie who is ready to go to drivers. Uh, trace is just too much. It's like a wraith for those who throw Anova. Yeah. Yeah, it's 11.5, yeah, 11.5, neg 1, 2, I said earlier. Uh, yeah, I was very, you know, questionable about it. It's a great 11 speed. I, I'll give that, like, I was having fun with it. I know a lot of veteran players who throw it or people who have you know, been playing for at least six months and then step up to try it, uh, have been doing some cool things with it. But if I'm taking somebody out for their first time, I am not going this fast. So, again, this one kind of confused me. The, the drift was, it was an option when I bought the starter pack, so I'm curious. You know, just MVP's, you know, logic on this one, but... You know, overall, great disc. It's just not something I would hand to a newbie. So uh, that's been, you know, my review of the uh, Streamline Starter Pack. Uh, again, uh, overall, I think, like, it kind of goes with what I said with the runway. If I was taking somebody out who is very forehand dominant, or I assume will be forehand dominant, I could see going with this Starter Pack versus something that's, you know, lighter weight, more understable, uh, just to kind of complement the forehand game a bit more. Uh, but, you know, that just requires that forethought. If I'm just, you know... The average Joe who, you know, sees disc off in the park says, oh, I'm going to give it a shot and goes on Amazon and buys a starter pack. If they get this, they are not going to have a good time. So, uh, it's, you know, my thoughts on the Streamline starter pack. Uh, I just want to put out a reminder, guys. We do have a uh, Team Foundation Challenge going right now. 
uh, until June 9th, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time is when I'm doing the cutoff. Uh, so check that one out. I'll have a link for you up here. Uh, and as always, guys, thank you for all the support. If you have any questions for me, reach out. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors. For all your disc golf needs, check out Phoenix Discs and Foundation Disc Golf.